hello guys in this video we are going to solve problems based on inverse z transform how to find the inverse z transform so the question here is determine the inverse z transform of the following function here is a function given x of z so you need to understand what is the inverse z transform you might have studied the x of n okay small x of n z transform if you want to find out that will be equal to x of z then if you want to find out this from this that will be inverse that means from x of z if you want to find out x of n so that will be inverse z transform so we are going to find out this thing x of n from this x of z so for that we have certain steps to follow the first step is that we have to see is x of z whether it is simplified or not simplified basically means the power should be positive you have to make it as positive that means z power 1 z power 2 z power 3 like that it should be positive or in other words this x power z power minus 1 is basically what 1 by z okay so you have to take simplify and take the lcm for that i'll just show you what that happens here so x of z uh, which is equal to 3 plus 2 by z plus 1 by z square divided by 1 minus 3 by z plus 2 by z square so as you can see it is positive powers but the thing is that it is in denominator form you have to take lcm simple thing is that you have to take lcm for that so uh, the steps you remember okay first what am i doing z whatever negative powers are i made that as what positive powers after that i'm taking lcm now the numerator part you can see over here here the lcm will be z square so multiply z square it will be 3z square plus 2z plus 1 whole thing divided by z square correct z square is there then divided by the denominator part again the z square is the lcm so z square so 1 into z square minus 3z okay plus 2 whole thing divided by z square again correct so this z square this z square get cancelled so we got it in which form 3z square plus 2z plus 1 whole thing divided by z square minus 3z plus 2 okay so this is a simplified form of the this thing so this is nothing but x of z okay and one more way i can tell you from this you can directly get the values whatever the negative power is there highest negative power you take common so what will happen in the numerator if i take z power minus 2 which is a highest power of z negative power so z power minus 2 i will take common so what is remaining here 3 if i take z power minus 2 from here it will be z power 2 okay simple thing logic okay plus here z power minus 1 is already there i have taken z power minus 2 common so it will be 2z plus z power 2 minus 2 i have taken common so remaining will be 1 okay whole thing divided by again in the new denominator part you can see the highest negative power z power 2 is there again minus 2 and if i take common what is remaining 1 is there that means z power minus 2 i have taken from here so remaining will be z power 2 okay so when you multiply you will understand z power minus 2 into z power 2 is what 1 itself correct so when you multiply and see you will get the same thing okay you can just check it z power minus 2 into 3 z square it will be 3 okay then again z power minus 2 into this it is 2 z power minus 1 like that you can check also and here minus 3 z power minus 1 so it will be 3 z plus 2 simple thing whereas z power c is z power minus 2 i have taken common so 2 will be remaining here 3 z then z square okay so here i can cancel numerator and denominator z power minus 2 it get cancelled remaining will be this part that is only the this thing correct it's the same thing so you can do it in this way also or either you can do by this way also it's your wish after getting x power x of z okay after simplifying what you have to do second step is to write it divide the whole thing by z that's it whatever x x of z is z divide it by z so when you divide it by z what happens here one more z will come correct so 3z square plus 2z plus 1 
whole thing divided by one more z i have to add in the denominator that's it okay because you can see over x of z is there okay this whole thing is x of z i am just dividing it by z so i have to do it here z divide by z okay now don't do it separately numerator and denominator divide by z okay that's the wrong thing what you need to do this whole thing x of z you have to divide it by z so that's why it will come in the denominator part now the next thing here is that denominator you can observe here one quadratic form is there denominator you have to observe okay denominator whenever you get quadratic form convert it into what linear factors that means you have to factorize this form okay how can you factorize this do it in the calculator or by the splitting of the middle term also you can do so here it will be 6 12 plus 60 12 plus 4 it is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 17 divided by 2 which is equal to what 8.5 so 8.5 will be the c value okay so we got b value a value as 1 by 2 so we need to at last substitute in this so when i substitute here so what will happen see here so a value is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 divided by z plus b value we got it as minus 6 so i can remove this plus sign minus 6 by z minus 1 plus c value i got it as 8.5 divided by z minus 2 okay so which is equal to what x of z by z okay this whole function is nothing but x of z by z now after getting all substituting a b c value next step we have to multiply this z here that means you have to take it into the numerator okay so this becomes x of z equal to so from denominator it will go to the numerator so i can write it as what 1 1 by 2 is nothing but 0.5 right 0.5 into z will go up z by z minus 6 z by z minus 1 plus 8.5 z by z minus 2 so only the difference comes here is that additional one more z will come from here that is the thing see x of z why we are doing this in order to get x of n see when we have x of z you can get x of n correct so that's why i don't want this term this is additional term so we have to take it to the numerator part now here Of the gallery, this z and this ten z will get cancelled. Rest all remains the same. So I can write it as zero point five minus six by z minus one plus eight point five. Sorry, z is there. Eight point five z by z minus two. Now here, this is x of z. I need to find out x of n. The thing is that you have to remember some of the formulas. Delta n, the z transform will be one. Okay. And a power n u of n z transform will be z by z minus a. Remember these formulas. Okay. Let i n z transform will be one. So if I want to find out inverse of one, inverse the transform of one that will be delta n. Correct. So here you observe this is a one constant term. So for this I can write it as what zero point five delta n. Correct. See here, if I multiply with one, it's the same thing. Delta n z inverse z transform will be. See, I need to find inverse of this x of z. So inverse of inverse z transform of one will be delta n. And zero point five is the additional term that you have to keep it as it is. So whenever you get constant term, so always write it as that constant term into delta n. Okay, minus. Now for this term, how will you find inverse z transform? Simple thing. See here, z by z minus one. What is this term? See here, carefully you observe. This two you compare. Z by z minus a. Z by z minus one. What is a? Here it is one. Okay, don't bother about six. It is an additional term. So here I can write it as minus six. That is additional term into z by z minus a. A value is what? One. So one power n. If you want, you can write one power n into u of n. See, basically, we are going from here to here in order to find. See, basically, z by z minus a. If I find out inverse z transform, I will get a power n u of n. That is the thing. Okay, so basically, we are doing that. So a power n, you can write or you can ignore this term. Okay, just write minus six into u power n. 
plus now the last term that is 8.5 into z by z minus u. if you carefully observe here again the same thing is coming that is z by z minus a compare it with this one okay z by z minus a here a value is 2 so 8 8.5 is additional term additional constant term into a value is a power n u power u of n i have to write that is a here it is 2 power n correct u of n that's it so you have to write this carefully now this was x of z and this will be x of n so basically we are what we are doing we are finding out from x of z x of n inverse so whenever you get constant term always write that constant into delta n okay this is x of n next here observe carefully z terms are there in x of n and n will come okay then here z by z minus a you have to compare 6 is the additional term so minus 6 is additional 1 power n you can ignore this term okay it is it is anyways it is 1 only and u of n this is the formula okay you have to remember formula plus 8.5 into again z by z minus a you have to compare a is 2 power n u of n okay that's it so this is how you have to find out inverse z transform